Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, in this video, I'm gonna share with you another perfume haul slash unboxing slash first impression video on some fragrances. And um, the fragrances that we're gonna talk about today are mostly gonna be from the brand um, Munts Hall. And um, then I have one fragrance from Creed. So these are the fragrances that we're gonna be talking about today and that I'm gonna be smelling for the very first time. Um, so if you're interested in seeing that, keep watching. If you're new to my channel, I'm Vianero. Welcome. I'm really glad to have you here. And mostly I like to post videos about nails and um, perfume. So if that seems like something you'd be interested in um, seeing, definitely feel free to subscribe. And even if you don't subscribe, if you feel like you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Now to the rest of the video. Okay, so I purchased these fragrances from fragrancenet.com. So I'm gonna sound probably a little bit spoiled or like a little bit like impatient, but um, I don't know if you saw my last perfume haul, but I purchased a few fragrances from the website Fragrance X, and those came in literally two days. So I ordered them early Monday morning and I got them Wednesday before noon. So um, yeah, I got that super, super quick. I also placed an order on that same Monday morning for um, some fragrances from Fragrance Net, and I got that on Thursday. I ended up having to return a few fragrances. Um, my boyfriend didn't want the fragrance that I bought for him, and then um, since I was gonna return that anyway, I decided to return two angel flankers that I really did not like. I tried to convince myself that I would be able to enjoy something that was like angel for nostalgic reasons turns out i really i just i can't i couldn't justify keeping the other two fragrances so since i did that i obviously felt like okay so now i can buy two other fragrances so anyway um i decided to place another order on fragrance net so the reason i went with fragrance net as opposed to fragrance x is just because the prices were a little bit lower um, and I did that last Friday. So it's Friday again, and I just received it. So I know it's a week and it's really not that long, but when I'm used to like two to three day shipping, it was very like frustrating for me. Obviously I got over it. I have the package now and I'm super excited. All right, I'm gonna open my package now. Um, and like I did in the last video, I'm going to start with the um, perfume I feel like I would be less interested in or the one I'm least excited about. I mean, ex I'm excited about all of them, but of course there's a few that I'm more excited about than others. So it came in a super small box. It doesn't look that small on camera, but it, it's like not that big. Um, and I'm a little concerned just because I ordered, oh, actually two of them are, are samples. Now that I think of it, two of them are decan. All right, so yeah, so I do have everything and two of them are decant. So, all right. Oh, I'm really excited. Okay, so we're gonna start with one of the ones that are decanted into like these little um, spraying bottles. So this is like, if you, um, I think Scentbird is the first one that I remember, like it's a subscription service and you can pick like different fragrances every month. Um, so fragrance.com or FragranceNet, I guess now it's fragrance.com, um, but they uh, have, they offer like uh, travel spray sizes. So you don't have to, you can do a subscription. So they also offer like a subscription service, but you don't have to do it. So you can actually purchase the travel spray itself um, without having to like commit to a subscription. Um, so I decided to do this because I wanted to try, like I said, some niche fragrances and um, some of them are a little bit too pricey for me. Um, even the ones that I got, I think are a little bit high for what I'm used to paying, um, even with like fragrance nap. But anyway, so this comes in this little thing, the one that I got, um, let's see. It doesn't want to focus. 
whatever. So this is um, Creed Love in White EDP. So um, this isn't one of like the popular niche fragrances. I feel like when it comes to niche fragrances, like um, Delina from Perfume de Marley is super, super popular. And um, Creed, maybe like, I don't even know what's a popular Creed woman's fragrance. I feel like Creed Aventus is popular for men. Um, but I don't know. I just decided I want to try it. So um, just so we get a feel of how this works. So this part, um, where is the silver? So this is like the bottom of the spray and that's the silver part. That um, is actually the spray top and you can twist and then you get the little spray on there. Um, let me see, I think you, oh, yeah. You, so you can pull this out. Look at that. I don't know how much is in here. I'm going to, I'm sure I can find out on the website and I will put that somewhere here so you can see how much is um, in here. I think it's a pretty good amount. Um, and yeah, so I'm definitely gonna try this out. Um, so, hmm. I don't wanna put it on me just in case I hate it. Let me see if it smells from here. It doesn't really smell like anything. I'm gonna take a piece of paper because I have two, two, I have two travel size sprays. So I'm gonna t test them on paper. So that was a big spray, so. So I'm also gonna put the notes that are in the, um, that are in the fragrance so that you can see and know for yourself. I actually did not look it up before I um, started this video and I'm just gonna tell you like an untrained nose cause I have no like um, expertise in like fragrances and stuff like that. A lot of people on YouTube have a lot more experience with fragrances and a lot more knowledge. Um, this is very like, it does feel white, so it is um, it is called Love in White, so it does feel very fresh, green, um, clean. And I don't even think I looked up the notes in this before I like purchased it, so yeah. So I don't really care for this. Um, in my head, when I saw Love in White, I thought of Bulgari. They have um, this white perfume. I'll put a, a photo of it and the name. I don't really remember it. I had it a while ago. It was actually my boyfriend had it. And I just, I loved the smell. It was definitely like a unisex scent, but I loved it. I thought like to me that it's a perfect white scent. Like when I think of white fragrances. So this is okay. It's nothing great. Um, I might just throw it in my bag just cause. Um, but like I said, it's it's not anything that I would ever buy a full bottle of. So um, that goes away. The other three fragrances are from the same brand. Um, this is actually, I've seen a lot, a lot of reviews on this. Um, and a lot of people love it. This is Montal. Paris, but this is Intense Cafe EDP. So this is supposed to smell like very coffee-like. Um, I'm just gonna take a moment to say that I love this. Travel spray, the black, and it's like matte. I wish like you can choose which ones you get, but I do like that, you know, they definitely chose different colors for me, even though they do label it with the fragrance on it. Um, pull that up. Mm. Okay, so this smells really sweet, like super, super sweet. Um, I guess let me spray it on camera. Oh, let me just see what the juice color is. Oh, wow. That I did not expect. So that's clear. That's really weird. Like if you smell it, it does not smell like it's clear. It smells like it's like a brownish color or something, but whatever. Okay, I'm going to spray this guy. Oh. Two sprays. Oh, wow. Oh my God. That smells so good. So you definitely, like, the, it smells very sweet. So it smells like, it does smell a little rosy. I don't know if this is supposed to have rose in it, but um, it smells like, it, it just, it smells 
so comforting. It smells like a comforting, it has, it's not like in your face coffee right away. I don't know if it like dries down to like a super coffee like scent. I think I have to look at what these um, notes are in here. Give me one sec. So let's see what this says. All right, so I'm reading the notes and there aren't a lot. So it does say floral notes are the top notes. So I definitely get that. I definitely get rose, like a very light rose, not very intense, not very like overbearing rose to me at least. It's just a, a light, sweet rose. I feel like it reminds me of like something that I purchased from Lush or Saban. Um, I can't think of exactly what it is, but it, it reminds me of something like that, that rose scent to it. So, um, yeah, so it says floral notes, coffee, rose, and then amber, vanilla, and musk. I would say probably not necessarily for summer, um, probably more for any other season but summer. So maybe a little bit into spring, um, definitely fall and winter. Um, and like I said, a little bit into spring, but once it gets really hot, I mean, I personally um, wouldn't wanna smell like this. Maybe I should have gotten a full bottle, but um, we'll see. So I did get two full bottles of Montal fragrances. So, um, okay, we're gonna start with the one. Okay, so this is Pink Ecstasy. So this, I haven't really heard a lot of people talk about it. I don't think I was able to find any YouTube videos in English about this fragrance. So um, that either means it's not really that good um, or people just don't really know about it. Um, either way, I'm sorry, I'm trying to type in the, um, the name into Fragrantica so I can like look up the notes and let you know um, what they say is in it. So this is a box. I guess let's just take a look at the box real quick. So, oh, look, you can see me recording on my phone. Okay, anyway, so this is the box. Um, it says three and a half fluid ounces. I don't know if you can see that. So it's 100 mil. Um, I like the box pretty cute. I like that gold writing. I mean gold. Metallic pink, which is not gold. I love that metallic pink writing. I'm going to take off this plastic. All right, so let me just tell you. I mean, I'm going to put it down, obviously, what the notes are. So it says orange, tangerine, black pepper, jasmine, rose, iris, orange blossom, musk, vanilla, raspberry, and peach. So let's see what that's about. So pretty box. The bottle is going to be super cute. So it comes out of the box already in this little, um, a drawstring case which is so cute um and then there we go that's our bottle so it does it's su that was fun um so it is super lightweight like this bottle is so light like oh i guess the purpose is to like when you don't want to push down even though i think something just came out I don't know, maybe when you're traveling, it really does help, but. Okay, so. Ooh. All right, so this seems pretty cheap. Like the, the bottle seems really cheap. And you see this, that is a sticker. That's a sticker that's on there. Like, I don't wanna pull it up because I don't wanna like mess it up and make it look ugly. But you can actually see that it's not even put on straight. Like. I'm concerned that this is like not real. Maybe I will ask Fragrance Nut about it. Do any of you guys own any of these perfumes? And do, is it a sticker? Like, is that normal? Hmm. Spray the, um, the box. Okay, so let's see what this is about. Okay.
Right now it doesn't smell very good. Oof. I don't know what that is. It does smell powdery. Um, Cause I see that listed here on Fragrantica and it definitely smells powdery, but it's not like a sweet powdery or like, may maybe it's a floral powdery, but like, I don't know what the floral is. Cause like, I don't really, I mean, Jasmine, I love Jasmine. Iris is cool. The Turkish Rose maybe? Is it Turkish Rose? I don't know. Mm. Doesn't smell pink or like ecstasy. I don't know, I don't like it. I'm gonna spray it on my hands just to see if it's different. Yeah, it's awful. I don't even know what that is. Oh, so that's absolutely terrible. Like, ugh. so I'm really, really, really disappointed in this. Um, I'm gonna let it stay on my skin just to see if it's um, any different. Um, I am, oh, look at that. It's like oily. So I'm definitely gonna just leave that there, see if it changes on my skin. Um, this is definitely the worst out of the bunch, unless it changes on my skin. Oh, it's awful. Oh, I'm opening this without telling you what it is. Um, and also I need to look up the notes. So. Oh God, I'm even like now I'm even more scared to try this one because um, this is the one I had like super high hopes about. Um, I was able to find a few uh, reviews on it um, and when I read it, it sounded like something like I was daydreaming about this and I would dream about it at night just because of like everybody saying what it smells like. I mean, I didn't see a lot of reviews, but I did see some. So this is also from Montal, and this is Mukalat. Mukalat. That's it there, I don't know if you can see it. All right, so this, okay, so it doesn't have like levels of notes. So it says vanilla, musk, almond, strawberry, and Peru balsam. Balsam. Balm? Peru, whatever that is. Um, okay. All right. I mean, so I saw a couple reviews on this um, where they say it smells like strawberry or it smells like strawberry shortcake or like almonds and um, like a, some people said it smells plasticky. I don't know, but I just, I had such high hopes for this and after smelling this pink ecstasy, like this is so, so awful. It's so bad. Ugh, I hate it. I really, I hate it. Like, ugh, it's disgusting. It really is. Like I'm angry at it that it's so awful. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna see if I can return that because I'm not not keeping it and if i can't return it i'm gonna sell it so if somebody likes it and um okay all right so this is the same type of bottle um and it does also have like this is like a sticker oh gosh i'm gonna be so sad if this is bad like I waited an entire week. I know it sounds like, <sighs> okay. <sighs> okay. It's not exactly how I imagined it. I'm not gonna lie to you, but I love it. Yep, I love it. Absolutely love it. So. This is exactly what everyone was saying. It smells like strawberry, you smell almond. I mean, strawberry is super strong. So it's like, a, it is synthetic, like strawberry, like it smells like plastic, you know, like toy strawberries or like a, 
you know like when you're a kid and you have something that's like strawberry scented or yeah scented not really flavored like it's more of like the strawberry scented stuff it does still have like a does it have that rose in it did i say rose no hmm. i don't know what it is So this is actually, it is really good. Like I said, it's a little bit different than what I thought. Um, it's actually a little sweeter than I thought it would be. So I thought it would be like more plastic and like um, less strawberry sweet. Maybe like on the skin, it's a little bit different. I am going to try it out on my skin. It does smell like it might make me sick now that I'm smelling it again. It smells a little bit nauseating. Guys, I'm so disappointed. Um, to be quite honest with you guys, I do feel like the, let me see, do I have that? Ah, oh, this definitely smells like something from Lush. So I'm definitely gonna put that um, in here. Hopefully I, I figure it out and I can put it here exactly what it is so this reminds me of something from Lush that was the um, intense cafe um, Creed oh it's like whatever then I have this stupid pink ecstasy which I I just hate it I have to say I am a little disappointed um, with the fragrances that I purchased. However, um, it's totally my fault because I definitely picked fragrances that, you know, people didn't really talk about or like I couldn't find reviews on Pink Ecstasy. I wonder why. Probably because it's just an awful fragrance and no one wants to smell like that. I don't, I don't know what to say. Let me see, does anyone on Fragrantica talk about Pink Ecstasy? Okay, first of all, okay, so the first comment I see, they mention insolence. Like, insolence, I love it. Like, that's easily, like, one of my top five favorite fragrances ever. Um, so, it didn't smell like that. So, I said it dried down to cleaning smells maybe they mean like cleaners like um house cleaners because that makes sense um someone says pink ecstasy belongs to the same family as girl on insolence no it doesn't that's why i bought it because of this because everyone was comparing it to insolence and when you actually look at so on Fragrantica, they have like a little section that says this perfume reminds me of, and there are two insolence flankers listed under this. So at first, I guess, first smell, I think I didn't go the right route. I really feel like I should have probably did a little more research. Maybe I should have bought like super popular ones. It's just that like even though I know everyone wants to smell good. If something smells good, I'm sure a lot of people like it. I don't like to smell like everyone else. Um, I know that Aliens is a super popular fragrance. A lot of people love it. Um, I'm also seeing a lot of people loving Insolence. Um, so I don't know, I'm kind of looking for a fragrance that's not really um, popular, but smells really good, if that makes sense. So that's why like, I guess I went with like, you know, a few that I didn't really see a lot of reviews on. Um, this is the only one out of everything I bought that I think, you know, it's is okay. So I wish I had better results for this video. I wish there I found something that I loved, um, but I really didn't. So, um, so despite the fact that I didn't really love all the perfumes that I purchased. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video and found it informative. And these are just my opinions. Obviously, um, everyone has their own opinion and you can handle different things. Also, I feel like certain things smell differently 
to people and smell differently on people. Just because I don't like it doesn't mean that it won't smell amazing on you and that you won't like it. But this is just personally for me, I just, this was definitely not worth it. If you guys have any suggestions um, for like better Montal fragrances or like easier to wear niche fragrances or maybe like um, something for like the intense cafe, something that's a little more coffee-like because I would love something like that. Um, you know, having like a coffee scent to me that like seems pretty cool, um, especially if it's like just coffee. Maybe like a slight sweetness to it or a slight milkiness to it would be cool. But to literally smell like you, you put coffee on yourself. Probably just put coffee on yourself, right? I don't know, or any type of white fragrances other than the Bulgari that I'm talking about, um, but something similar, maybe something more affordable. Uh, yeah, so if you have any suggestions for like niche fragrances that you think I would like or you think I should try, I'd really love to hear them. Or if you have a niche fragrance that is your signature scent, I would love to hear about. Thank you so much for watching and bearing through this like terrible video of me just being super unhappy with everything that happens with this um, purchase. But if you're interested in seeing um, perfume videos in the future, or if you're interested in seeing just any type of video that I put out in the future, please subscribe to my channel. Your support is super appreciated. Um, and like I said, if you don't wanna subscribe or you don't feel comfortable subscribing yet, please like this video if you did enjoy it, if you found it useful. I really would have liked to see this video before I made my purchase. So hopefully I'm helping someone out there who is contemplating the same thing as me. Um, and yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching.